If there's something strange in your drain, who are you going to call? You're going to call plumbing professors. If there's something weird and it don't smell good, who are you going to call? You're going to call plumbing professors. <laughs> that's right. Call us today with your questions. Anything that's on your mind, folks, call us at 248 356 1270. That's 248 356 1270. We did have a question on plumbingprofessors.com from Ken in Fraser. Ken says, I had a plumber tell me that liquid plumber or Drano can actually hurt your pipes. Is this true? If so, what are some good alternatives? Well, Ken, properly used, any of those uh, commercially or retail available products, they will not hurt your plumbing. They will not hurt your septic system. But you do have to follow the manufacturer's recommendations. If you overuse anything and don't follow directions, it can cause trouble. But those products are safe. And remember, those are drain opening products. You typically would go buy those when your sink is plugged up and the water won't drain, or you have a bathtub that takes two days to drain. Then you go buy Drano or Mr. Plumber. But use according to directions, you're safe. But there are some other things you should know about those type of products. And, and they are chemicals. I mean, so it's it's important to know that if you if you use one chemical, stick with that chemical. Don't If it doesn't work, don't go out and buy a different brand and, and start pouring that down your drains too because – we're, you're not a chemist, so you don't want to do that. You want to figure so out. So, are you saying if one doesn't work and I go buy another one, I'm really doing a science experiment? It's that- very dangerous. I mean, and that goes with any cleaners or any type of, of drain openers because they they're highly um, they're made to to create heat and and break up a blockage and get that stuff flowing. So, if you start mixing the two. There are, are mixtures out there that you're, you're creating a, a somewhat of a bomb. And yeah, it, it's more than highly dangerous. It can kill people. It can be lethal if you abuse chemicals in a closed uh, uh, environment. And think of some bathrooms. You have a small bathroom. There's not a lot of ventilation. You're putting different chemicals down there trying to clear uh, a clogged drain. You can actually release chlorine gas in some cases, which is lethal with a relatively small hit. And it, the main thing is read the instructions on the back of the container and follow those. And then if it doesn't work, then call plumbing professors. We'll come out. We'll take a look at it. But be sure you let any plumber know if you put something down your drains, let them know that you did that so that way they can protect themselves because that's when the danger comes in. It's not so much on your plumbing system or your pipes. Yes, you do want to be careful not to pour it on a, 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 a tile floor with a nice finished chrome strainer or in a sink and let it sit there because it will damage the fixture itself. Uh, whether it's it's uh, you know if it's a plastic fixture, it could be very harmful to the the coating that they put on the outside of the plastic to make it look like it's metal. But let the plumber know this is what I've tried. Get some history around it so we can figure out what is the problem and how we can fix it uh, effectively. And Matt, you make a, you a good point here. And one thing I think we should tell folks about a little bit, the, those chemicals that you buy are designed to be heavier than water. So when you have a sink that is full of uh, dish soap or a bathtub that won't drain and you pour that product right over the drain, it will go down through the water, it will settle into the drain, and it'll go to work down there. And as long as everything outside your tub is covered, covered with water, you don't get any damage. But your point is well taken that if you are pouring drain cleaners down a dry bathtub, bathtub or a dry sink, you can damage some of the finishes. So be very careful. And I'm not saying don't use them because I've used those products before and they do work well. They're designed for a plugged up drain. But there are some options that we have that we're going to share with you that prevent the drain from ever getting plugged up. And, and during this time of year, we talk about noises and noises will tell you stuff going on. So if you hear gurgling, now's the time to start doing something about that gurgle. Don't wait for it to fill up with water and it won't go down. But if you hear gurgling, that's a perfect opportunity to get a product like drain maintenance treatment or DMT. You start using that, that will start to feed off of that biodegradable waste, turn it back into water and get that drain flowing properly again. Now, Matt, DMT is a product that we developed with our team. We, we asked about what kind of problems that people would see in their pipes, in their bathtub, in their homes and kitchen sinks. And DMT stands for Drain Maintenance Treatment. It is not a drain opener. That's a big difference. It is a drain treatment. That meaning that uh, you have to use it like vitamins, like you take vitamins every day on a long-term basis and they help keep you healthy. Well, drain maintenance treatment comes as a powder. You mix it with lukewarm water, pour a little bit down uh, every drain, and it will prevent 
stuff from building up because there's little enzymes that will eat away at the uh, organic material, including hay, uh, paper and hair. How, and about, how about roots? Will it eat up roots? Nope, they won't eat up roots. They don't hurt roots. They're safe for the environment and your pets. And we can tell you a lot more. And if you have problems like this, call us, 248 248- Three five six twelve seventy. It's two four eight three five six twelve seventy. We'll take your questions right now. Drain maintenance treatment is something you really want to do, and and I would submit to you that in the next few years you're going to see that become more and more widespread because it does work. It's simple, safe biology, and it will prevent you from ever getting a, a call to a plumber in most cases. Thanks for your question, Ken. You know, in talking about roots, Wendy, in Drano and DMT. Knowing what the problem is, last week we took a question from Mike in, in Southfield, Southfield. And, and he had a sewer problem that was running underneath his, his garage. Well, if, if you put a camera down your drains, you'll know what you have going on, and then you know what to properly do to maintain those drains. So if you do have tree roots in your sewer or, or underneath a garage, the faster you know that that's happening, the faster and the easier and the less expensive it is to get it fixed. And it's just like anything else. If you hear your engine knocking and something happens at an engine, it's going to fail. And then you have to get a whole new engine. Well, if you change the oil and you do the things properly and maintain it, then you don't have that ever happening. But what makes you think to put a camera down? I mean, there are roots under every garage, aren't there? Well, not necessarily if there's no trees in your backyard, how long have you lived in the home, how old is the home. The When you move into a home, everybody should put a camera down their drains. I mean, then you have the peace of mind of knowing, you know what, I have no problems or there is a problem or potentially could be a problem. This is how I can maintain it. Well, before you buy a home, you know, most people will have a home inspector come out, especially uh, certainly a home that's not brand new. And the inspector will do an excellent job, and he'll take a look at and touch and feel everything he can see, and he will tell you about it and give you a report. But very few of them, to, to my knowledge, I don't know any of them that have a sewer camera that's specifically designed to go down a sewer, which is not a you know a nice place to be. So the cameras are high tech; they're built for a severe environment, and he can actually. See see you we can see for you a picture of what your drain looks like so you don't have to guess what's down there and it, depending on what area you live in too i mean if if your home is pre-1970 or you're in birmingham with beautiful trees and beautiful neighborhoods or in livonia there's a great area of livonia off plymouth and farmington those are awesome homes i mean they're gorgeous there are huge trees but you don't it, it's very frustrating when you hear people say well i'll just cut down the tree but well, you don't have to cut down the tree. That tree took how many years to get to where it no is kidding. today? And, and most people, grown up, you know, they, they move into a home and they plant this nice little tree. And, and 30 years down the road, it's 50 feet tall or 30 feet tall. You don't want to cut those trees down. If, and if, it's expensive to cut those trees down. It's the restoration. And, and going back to Mike with the garage, once that sewer is running underneath something or underneath a huge tree, you can't dig it up to get it fixed. You're going to spend five, $6,000 to cut down that tree or in Mike's case, it was $8,000 to dig in the garage and take down the garage. That's a, a huge expense. No kidding. We're putting a camera down there for $125. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You, know what the, you know what you have to do. Well, one of the things that we do at Plumbing Professors, we're big fans of technology. We have on every truck digital cameras, high definition. The guys can see what's going on. They can actually show you. You can look over their shoulder and see for yourself what's there, and that makes solving that problem easier. The other thing we have, which is we're one of the few companies in probably the Midwest, and we're probably the second now or third in the country in terms of size, we do epoxy cured in place pipelining, Matt, which is just what you were talking about. We can go into a pipe without disturbing the surface and reline it so it doesn't take the tree out. It doesn't uh, ruin a driveway. We've actually gone to some restaurants and relined at night so that they could continue running the next day because their clients didn't even know. We came in, relined the pipe. The next day, the restaurant's running and they have a brand new, the equivalent of a brand new sewer. Without any dem demolition, damage, or digging. I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here to educate you. We're here to help you. So give us a call, 248-356-1270. Ask us what's on your mind. You get it up, you have stuff to do, give us a call. Go to plumbingprofessors.com. Ask a question. We will answer it on air for you and, or send you an email quickly and let you know what you have going on. Hey, folks, the holidays are coming. You need to get your head out of the sewer. Get that problem fixed that worries you every time you have company. Don't embarrass your guests. Don't embarrass yourself. Get it fixed. Call Plumbing Professors. We'll give you options. We've got financing. 
get her done, folks. When we come back, we're going to tell you about the financing. It is really something I think you'll be interested in. It could really come in handy if you have an unexpected expense. So stay with us on New Talk Radio 1270 WXYT on Plumbing Professor Radio.